of you are engaged in running your mouths, doing your business, multiplying, buying houses, cars, business, whatever you're doing. And when you're told about God, religion, life, morality, you're saying, look, I ain't got no time for that. Look, I ain't got no time for that. Now, how do we know that there's a God? And how do we know that there's a creator? God is the cause of all beings. An atheist must believe that the universe came from nothing and by nothing. But surely that doesn't make sense. Out of nothing, nothing comes. So where did the universe come from? Why does the universe exist instead of just nothing? There must have been a cause which brought the universe into being. We can summarize our argument thus far as follows. Premise one, whatever begins to exist has a cause. Two, the universe began to exist. Three, therefore, the universe has a cause. So this cause should be beyond space and time, eternal and self-existing necessary being. God is no true science. In the creations of the heavens and earth, and the alternation of the night and day, and the ships which sail the seas to people's benefit, and the water which Allah sends down from the sky, by which he brings the earth to life when it was dead and scatters about in it creatures of every kind, and the varying directions of the winds, and the clouds subservient between heaven and earth, there are signs for people who use their intellect. There are uniform laws in nature which indicate that nothing comes by coincidence. Everything is created precisely. And beside this perfect creation, there's a perfect sustaining system for each and everything that remain in a beautiful order rather collapsing. The Miracle of Life Science has no explanation of where that life came from, or what causes the living body to die. They have no reason for dying of the people. If someone's heart has stopped working, replace it. Bring him back to life. You cannot. You cannot control the people's life. You even don't know the reason of life or death. The reason of life and death is the one and only God. When there is no God, there would be no purpose for life. The sun is there to produce energy and light. The trees are there to produce oxygen and fruit. The animals are there to produce foods and clothes. The question is that who set these purposes? Who told them to do this or that? What is the purpose of our life? For rational mind, everything has a purpose and for sure there is a purpose for life and there is a creator who set this purpose. A human being, regardless of who they are or where they are or what they do, will have this curiosity. They'll want to know, why am I here? How did I get here? And do I have a purpose? And if so, what is it? The only one who would really be able to answer that question would be the creator himself. If there is a creator, it would be up to him to tell us why we were created and what he expects from us and what this life is really about. Allah has shown the people from the time of Adam until right now, has shown the people what he wants from them. And it's a very simple thing. And that is that worship be for him alone without any partners. In fact, we know this life to be a test from Almighty God. That's why we're born and that's why we die. Because there has to be a beginning and an end for us to be tested on. The miracles of the Holy Quran. There are so many scientific miracles in the Holy Quran from different branches of science, which all of them prove that the Quran is the word of God. There are more than a thousand verses in the Quran we speak about science. After every scientific fact, you ask the question, 
Who could have mentioned that in the Quran? The only reply the atheist can give you is the creator, the, the cherisher, the manufacturer, the inventor, the producer. This creator, this manufacturer, this producer, this inventor, we Muslims call him as Allah.